Hi guys, CC here. Today on this beginner tutorial video, I'm going to show you how to add more shortcut keys and how to change your control setting. So when you first started playing Pocket Maple Story, you probably will see the similar setting that I have right now. A regular D-pad control to move your character, a jump key, a basic, basic attack key, uh, four shortcut keys, and a flip keys to change to a second page of four, another four shortcut keys. Um, these shortcut keys are for you to put your skills in, uh, potions and pets. I'll show you in another video on how to shortcut these skills, pets, and potions, or even micro. But today I'm going to I'm going to show you how to add more shortcut keys. Because eventually, when you jump events, you'll get more skills and you will probably need more than just these basic 8 key, uh, shortcut keys that, that you got in the beginning. So, what do you want to do? Let's go to Quest, Option, go to Change Control. On the control setting here, you will see these three uh, three dotted circles. What you want to do is select and then press the plus sign. And so like and press the plus sign to get all these three shortcut key buttons out. What you can do with these shortcut keys, you can move them around. Move uh, anywhere that you want for your convenience, for your liking. I usually like to move these four for my attack and my potions. So I can reach them easier with my thumb. And then these three I like to leave on the bottom so I don't uh, use them. I usually use these for my buffs. And my pets, so I like to leave it, leave them at the bottom. So you just exit and then save. Uh, uh, next, I want to show you how to change your control. In the beginning, you will get the D-pad, but some people doesn't like the D-pad because you need a very accurate. Um, position pointing to go where you like so like me I don't really like the d-pad so I change to the the second option that they have is a joystick so you go back to quest go to option and you'll see this joystick option and a d-pad option and let's change the joystick so joystick is pretty much um, what do you see on a console, controller, a joystick? Yeah, you can just move the knob, middle knob to change your direction. Which is easier for me to play on. Okay, so let's go back to the option. There's a different options when you change these between D-pad and joystick. Let's start with joystick. Let's go to change control. Uh, you will see on the top for joystick, there's a fixed type and a portable type. Fixed type is what we have right now. The joystick icon pretty much stay there all the time. But portable type, let's change this setting and see what it does. You will see that you cannot see the portable, portable type uh, joystick anymore but when you press around this area you can see it appears so it's for people who like to play it doesn't like to extra things on their on their screens but it's not really for me because sometimes you cannot see where it, where are you going using this using this um, setting but it's up to you if you like it or not. 
Um, so let's go to go back to the D pad setting, and let's go to change control. On the D pad setting, you will see these these two up arrow, and then let's add them to see what they do. So they pretty much just jump upward, jump rightward, or jump leftward. In my opinion, not very useful because you had to move these, and then I don't know. <laughs> I guess you use the index finger to press. So I don't think that's very useful. So I like to I like my option of my regular joystick and fixed type. Let's take that out. Okay, so save changes. Also, on the control setting, you will see this transparency bar. Uh, it's up to you if you like it very apparent or invisible. Invisible when when it is invisible, you will only you will not see the circles, but you will only see the icons that you shortcuts. I like to leave it in the middle ish, so it's not very um. Apparent, but it's not. It's still there. So that's pretty much it. Uh, how to add shortcut, extra shortcut keys, and how to change your control settings for your liking. Uh, I will suggest to change the setting, move it around, test how you it feels on your hand. Because a lot of people say that Pocket Maple 3 has terrible control, which I kind of agree. But once you adjust to uh, the setting that you like, it's pretty, it's pretty okay. It's pretty, you can get used to it playing with the D's control. So that's today's tutorial, uh, beginner tutorial on how to, how to add more shortcut keys and how to change your control setting. If you like this video and if this video helped you out, press like and I will see you on the next beginner tutorial video. Bye bye!